52 cards in your basic uh, card deck. 26 of them are red and 26 are black, so it's split in half, right? Uh, 13 are hearts and 13 are diamonds, okay, because the red ones are split in half. 13 are hearts, 13 are diamonds. The black ones are split in half. 13 are spades, like a shovel, right? And 13 are clubs, okay? Looks like a three-leaf clover there. Okay, but then you can further divide those uh, 13 hearts into uh, three face cards, so they have a face on them. They're kings, queens, and jacks, okay? And then you've got the numbered cards, which are two through 10, okay? And then there's one ace. So each suit, they call these four suits, okay, of 13 cards are made up of a three face cards, the numbered cards, two through 10, and then the ace. Okay, so let's get into some examples and I'll show you how to work with um, some probability examples here using playing cards. The first one says, what is the probability of being dealt four face cards and one ace? Okay, so that's an interesting question. So first we have to analyze how many face cards there are. And you can see there's three, six, nine, 12. So out of 12 face cards, okay, we're choosing four. Now the reason I'm using combinations is because when you're dealt these cards, when you hold them in your hand, it doesn't matter you know, what order they're, they're dealt to you. So we don't wanna use permutations, we wanna use combinations because the order is not important. But then we're gonna multiply this by all the different ways to get one ace. Now there's an ace of hearts, diamonds, spades and clubs. So out of the four aces, we just wanna find out how many ways there are to choose one. Well, of course there's, there's four ways, right? But we can use it as a combination, four choose one. And then we're gonna divide that by the total possible five card hands. So out of 52 cards total, how many ways are there to choose five where the order doesn't matter? So probability is the number of successful outcomes, the number of things that you want to occur, right? Divided by the total possible things that could occur. So if you simplify this you know, out, you're gonna be able to calculate what the probability is. And just a quick note here, I'll just show you, with the 12 choose four, this is 12 factorial over 12 minus four, eight factorial, four factorial. Four choose one is four factorial over four minus one, three factorial, one factorial, all divided by 52 factorial, 52 minus five, which is 47 factorial, five factorial. So if you simplify that, you're gonna get the probability. Okay, let's look at another example. It says, what is the probability of being dealt a king followed by an ace? So you're basically being dealt one card and then another card. It's like reaching into a hat. What's the probability I pick this out, set it aside, pick another card. Now, the thing to notice here is that it's not like you're shuffling that card back into the deck. So there's this concept of with replacement or without replacement. So this is without replacement, okay, which means that these events are dependent on one another, as opposed to when you shuffle it back in, they would be independent. The probabilities would be restored to the original uh, probabilities. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at, hmm, probably being dealt a king. Well, there's four kings, okay, and there's 52 cards total. So the probability is four chances out of 52, right? But once you're dealt that king, now what happens? There's only 51 cards left, right? And we say, what's the probability of being dealt an ace? Well, you can see there's four aces out of the 51 remaining cards. So if we multiply these together, we're gonna get the probability. So it's 16 divided by whatever 52 times 51 is, okay? Last example, number three here, what is the probability of being dealt a diamond or a king? Now this is interesting, this word or sometimes confuses students in math, okay? Or in normal everyday language means like I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna stay home, right? But in math, or means both. It means union, it means like you're combining those uh, sets and quantities together, okay? Whereas and, you know, you say like I'm gonna go to the store, and I'm gonna to go to the library. It's like you're gonna do both. That's everyday language. In math, and actually means the intersection. So if I was to draw a little Venn diagram here for you, see, and means this overlapping region right there, okay? All the people that are in your math class and in your English class, okay? Like, for example, right? Now, or would be like all of these people, all of these people, but you don't wanna double count the people that are in both groups, right? So you'll have to subtract off one of those double countings. Okay, so back to this problem. What is the probability of being dealt a diamond or a king? Well, you say, hmm, there's 13 diamonds, right? Okay, and how many kings are there? 
there's four kings, but there's one king of diamonds. Okay, so you're double counting that. So if I could just kind of circle this here to show you, like here's the kings, one, two, three, four kings. Here's the diamonds, okay, like everything that's kind of in this group. And you've got that king of diamonds that's in both groups. So you don't want to double count it. So let's, what we're going to do is we're going to say probably being dealt to diamonds, 13 out of 52, plus the probability of being dealt a king, which is four out of 52, minus the probability that you're dealt the king of diamonds, right? Because we counted that one twice. So we're going to subtract the probability of being counted, uh, dealt the king of diamonds. So if we simplify, we get 16 out of 52, and you can reduce that further, eight out of 26, or four out of 13. So that's your probability. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope you're learning something. I hope it boosts your math score. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my past videos, and I look forward to seeing you in some of the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.